Hi, Serena. Um, I'm here, Sir, Serena H. Chen, Dr. Serena H. Chen, at, from IRMS, Institute for Reproductive Medicine and Science at St. Barnabas in New Jersey. And this, I'm hanging here with my friend, another reproductive endocrinologist, Dr. Kane. Hi, y'all. Um, now I say y'all because I just moved to North Carolina, and it's a really good word. <laughs> it's a really good word. So I'm Kristen Kane, and I'm at Carolina's Fertility Institute, CFI, in Charlotte and Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And uh, I'm also a reproductive endocrinologist. Yeah, and we're really excited because um, we are, we're slowly winning the battle to try to help people have more access to fertility preservation or egg freezing, which is something that is really everybody who has a, a serious medical problem that might impact your fertility should think about. Uh, and it was just fertility preservation for iatrogenic reasons was just passed in New Jersey. And maybe Dr. Kane can tell us what iatrogenic means. So iatrogenic means that we doctors caused the problem. It, it means something that we did, um, not, in, not to hurt people, but when you treat people with cancer, uh, you give them chemotherapy or radiation, it can um, affect the ovaries. Uh, some people need chemo chemotherapy or chemotherapy-like drugs for other things like um, autoimmune diseases and uh, people who are planning to undergo a transgender uh, change, uh, they will take medication that may have a permanent effect and may want to uh, freeze eggs for that reason. So the new law in New Jersey specifically covers people whose fertility is at risk because of medical reasons. Just like Dr. Kane said, like the mo one of the most common examples are, is cancer patients and transgender. Um, where we know that you're, you have to take some sort of therapy that's gonna have a really big negative impact on, upon your fertility. And before you go through that therapy, you have the chance to freeze your eggs because when you freeze your eggs and they stay, they're, they're like frozen in time, it helps to um, give you potentially a better chance to conceive after your treatment is done. It's, it's not a guarantee, but if we can freeze some eggs before chemotherapy, then you might have a better chance of conceiving with your own eggs. Right, it's almost like doing donor egg, but for yourself. Yes. So, so your so egg donating your, your younger self, right? Donates to your older self. Right, right, right. your future that's, self. Yeah, that's an interesting concept. But at the same time, there's, New Jersey is only the ninth state to have this legislation, and probably only about half the patients in New Jersey will actually fall under this legislation. So there's still, um, even though the American Society for Clinical Oncology recommends that everybody that might want to have children in the future that has cancer should think about freezing their eggs, it's still a technology that is not accessible to most people in this country. And that's why we wanted to talk about it today because we want to make you aware that this is something you should ask for if you're going through cancer treatment or, or if a friend or a relative is going through that, it's a, it's a question that should be raised. And it's something that we hope that you guys will follow us on Instagram. I'm Dr. Serena H. Chen, Dr. Kane, you are... I'm um, at uh, D-R-K-C-A-I-N. -D and we'll have those links. We'll have those links, um, you know, when at the, at the bottom of our, if our, uh, of our little blurb on the YouTube video. But we, you know, we'd like you to follow us because we do work really hard to advocate. We're going to continue working hard to try to increase access all across the country. Right now, it's only nine states, but we're making progress. And, you know, we... Sure. we Thank you for listening today and I hope yeah. you follow us because we're going to be making more videos. Yes, we are. And thank you for coming to our little YouTube talk. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.